What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing another part of the Yakuza 6, the prologue. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to bring you another part of Yakuza 6, the prologue. This, so basically we're going to be just taking off where we last uh, left off, I guess. So uh, we're, uh, we talked to this homeless man right here, and we're going to f go find Yakihama. I, I don't remember his name, I'm, I'm so sorry. So let's go down the sewer and see what happens here. Kind of weird, I'm going to get my suit dirty here, but oh, well that's a good way to go down. No trouble going on there. go down here I guess are we here oh well oh, that's a nice little home Akiyama really down here Akiyama's really down here that's the name of the mission Akiyama, Akiyama. Mm. huh what what the Kiryu-san it's been a while uh well Come on in, take a load off. You can probably tell that's about all I can offer. Do, 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 do. I've been looking for you. Rumor has it you closed down Sky Finance. Yeah, well... Couldn't tell you why, but the triads kind of want my head on a stick. Figured I'd take a little break. Not like I'm staying down here forever, though. I've heard all about that. It sounds like Kimurocho's having some rough time these days. Yeah, I even had to send my secretary back to her family in the countryside. It got too dangerous risk keeping her in the middle of this mess. Makes sense. That said, you're looking better than I, I was expecting. Same to you, Kiryu-san. Glad to see you're finally back on the street. But what are you doing in Kemurocho? I came to see you. As for why, I thought you might have some idea where Aruka is. Aruka-chan? You mean she didn't go back to Morning Glory? Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Then, you don't know where Aruka is, either? I'm sorry, Kiryu-san. I know you came all the way from Okinawa for this. Uh, it's okay. Didn't even stop to consider your situation before bar barging in here, in your humble abode. So what's the plan now? I'll keep asking around Kimurucho, but Aruka, not much choice. You know I'd help you if I could. Of course, that's what they all say. Just keep yourself safe. Oh crap. Who's he? The big guy in the back? That's Ed. He's how I tried to welcome committee. God damn it. <laughs> Ed? Not to pin this all on you, but Kiryu chan, were you followed? Probably. Uh, that look. I heard a very interesting man showed up in Kumurocho today. Quite convenient that he led me right to Akiyama here. So this guy is actually strong enough to force you into hiding? Well, he did make me abandon my company and move to the sewers. I almost didn't recognize you, Akiyama-san. You used to have such style, but now you stench make the bigger impact. Oh. Ouch. You're really good at pissing me off, too. And yet, Akimasan, as a guest, I see now, our regret were never a match for you. You're Kiryu Kazuma-san, aren't you? <laughs> Former Tojo Clan 4th Chairman, the Dragon of Dojima, a legend among Yakuza. Your name made, it list, made the list as well. Kiryu-san, are you resting as the bar you were locked behind? Not sure, I never skipped my morning exercise, though. What a healthy guy. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Yakuza did not choose where to meet their end. The two of you will die where you stand. God damn it. Ed, Sao Triad Officer. Ooh, this is gonna be a good fight. Thank God I got Bentos. Let's defeat his goons here, but. Oh, don't hit me. You 
You're dead. Take girder to the face. Sheet of metal to the face. Bring it on, Ed. Oh. Oh, boy. This guy did not get lucky on that one. What a combo. I didn't know we could combo in this. Oh. Akiyama, go! Ooh. Akiyama did not lose it either for being a guy in the sewers. Okay. Is that like... A uh oh, that's not good. Get out of here, you... Oh, I'm on fire now, too, baby. Defeat Ed. That was kind of easy, actually. All right. Ed's done so. Well, he's, he's up now. You cowards. How dare you team up against a single opponent? There was five of you. I didn't team up. You want to talk, but my count, you had four dudes backing, backing you up. Consider this fight a mere greeting. I'll see you two of you again. Yeah, that's it, Ed. Walk away. Get out of the sewers. Please make this my base of operation now. <laughs> you know, there's no way I could have handled that guy without you. Glad you're on my side, Kiryu-san. Likewise, even so, he got away fairly unscathed. Unscathed. Well, unscathed. There's a lot of guys in the tribes like him. I prefer to think of him as an exception. Either way, my palace here isn't much of a hideout anymore. Let's head up. You're gonna need a change of clothes thing or closing there. You're gonna be running with me. Ah oh, man, it feels good to get some sun. They are so fresh too. Sorry about that, Akiyama. I led them right to you. Don't worry about it. I was getting bored of sleeping the, the days away. Anyway, let's not stick around would uh, wouldn't want Ed to show up with an army. That sounds like a good idea actually. It's Dante-san. Kiryu, where are you? In Kamurocho, I'm over at Children's Park with Akiyama. Got it. Think that you could go to Tuto Hospital? Hmm? Uh-oh. I have some bad news. It's not sure of all the details. I'm not sure of all the details yet. But it's Aruka. She's been in an accident. Ac accident in not sure if she'll pull out. Hold on a second. Aruka is in Kamurocho? What? I'll see you in once you're here. Hurry. Oh no. Oh, Kiryu's not happy. Oh, hold on, Kiryu-san. Go to Tunto Hospital. What's the, uh, what's this? Oh, I can take the taxi there. Okay, I can just take any taxi. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to need some power here. Some good stuff, homie. Taxi! To the hospital. I'm good. Uh, Tunto Hospital. Let's go. Let's get going. I guess there's multiple little districts like this then. Would make sense. We're here. Tunto University Hospital. Oh man, we're never going to make it. She's never going to make it. I'm just kidding. Dante-san. Dante Excuse me, are you a patient here? Well, um, if not, you must ask you to leave. Your hygiene is a health hazard. This is one of my co-workers on the force. 
He's the one who let me know about Uruka's accident. The name's Honjo. Dante-san told me a great deal about you. What about Aruka? Where is she? In the ICU, she's not in safe to be accepting visitors. She doesn't really have a choice right now, goddammit. She fractured both her hips and shoulder, but, but the cranial damage is life-threatening. She's in critical condition, unconscious at the moment. God damn it! What happened? It was a hit and run. Some reckless punk drove into her, the culprit's still at large. Oh, I will find that culprit. It's gonna be somebody high in the triads, probably. Or a Yakuza. A hit and run. Are you okay, Kiryu? No, I can barely think straight. The rage is building inside my body. I can imagine. But there's another piece of the, to the puzzle. What do you mean? Come with me. I need to show you something. Sorry, Akiyama. You're going to be staying at the door, unfortunately. Like a dog, you tie it by a leash on a pole. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Just over there. Hmm. Haruka was clutching someone tight when she saw the car coming. What? A life she wanted to protect even if it meant risking her own. Okay. Alright, uh, who is that kid? Nani. What? Aww, oh, little cute baby. Chapter 2, Lifebloods Anew. This child... Is Aruka's? I don't believe it. Yeah. Well, it's time to start. Look at his name. It's Haruto. Here. Haruto Sawamura. There is no doubt he's Aruka's kid. No way. You sure? The last name just icing on the cake. Haruka would, would have died to keep him safe. That's only a mother's sacrifice. That's only a mother's sacrifice. <laughs> and what about the father? Who's the father of this child? We don't know. You don't know? There was nothing on her person that would have helped us identify him. Her phone was broken in the accident, but we're trying to extract its data. God damn it! Beyond that, we aren't even sure when Kuruga arrived in Kermirocho. We'll have to ask her once she wakes up. If she wakes up. Is she definitely going to wake up? We can't promise that. God damn it. My apologies, but I don't want to give you any false hope here. The doctors are doing everything in their powers. All we can do is pray. God damn it! Praying won't do anything! <laughs> we need science! Senpai, I should get going. Uh, there's still work to be done at, cr at the crime scene. Hold on a minute, Honjo-san. Wasn't it? <laughs> hmm? Where did her accident happen? Tell me. What does it matter? Going there yourself won't change the situation. Oh, it can change a lot. We're only pursuing the culprit. A washed up Yakuza should stay out of it. Washed up? Hey, Hunjo, watch your mouth. Yeah, listen to your partner. He can say whatever he wants. I'm not going to just stand here and wait. Haruka should have been in Akinawa. But she ended up in the accident here instead. I don't understand. Who was the bastard driving that car? Oh, 
And more importantly, was this really just a simple accident? Dun, dun, dun. But Haruka, do you mean someone may have tried to kill her? Maybe to get revenge on you? It's highly possible. It's possible. There would be no forgiveness. <laughs> the fuck are you doing standing in my way? You want me to beat the shit out of you? Wait. Alright. The accident took place near Senro Avenue. I can take you there if you'd like. That okay by you, Dante-san? Yeah, if you don't mind, thanks. We're here. Haruka Samara was here with her child just a few hours ago. At that point, she was struck from behind by a black sedan. The car flew out of that parking garage, taking out the gate in the process. And the car was a lone man. Some gangbanger in his 20, he fled immediately after hitting them. A gang? Remember, the Tojo clan and the triads are in a, an all-out war. It's possible our culprit was trying to escape from a related incident. Which would be why he lost control of the car. If you're right, which side was he on? Tojo clan or the triads? No, not necessarily either. Tongayos are the only active syndicates in Kimurocho. Kimurocho. Mm -hmm. Let me back up a bit. Three months ago, a Chinese immigrant was murdered. It was Sayo Triad. And not only was he ranking officer, but he was the boss only son too. In other words, he stood in to inherit the entire triad. His name was Jimmy Liu. He was low in that picture. Tension really escalated after his death. The third six chairman was arrested, then the coffin sparked up all over again. And the Chojo clan? Did they kill Jimmy, so Jimmy Lo? We're still not sure ourselves. The South seems to believe so, though. They started scouring the city for any Tojo Yakuza they can get their hands on. To retaliate, the Tojo clan have been driving the Chinese out, even civilians. It's a mess. To tip it off, other groups are moving into Kumurocho to take advantage of this chaos. There's no way there, th that the Tojo clan and Sao are only ones involved in this by now. It would surprise me if there was a guy who hit Arusha was from a third party. Oh, and I should mention, you have history with, with one of the organizations that crept into Kumurocho. Mm -hmm. A Korean gang, the Jingwang Jing 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 Wong Mafia. Both times they expanded into Kumurocho, they were obliterated by the Tojo clan. The first time was over 30 years ago, and the second was just a decade back. I told you played a large role in crushing them in to with the Tojo clan. That was ages ago. It may be to you, but they remember their grudges both with you and the Tojos. If you plan on staying in Kumurocho, you suggest you watch your back. God damn it. More back watching and gun blazing and investigate the incident, the accident. Tire tracks? The car was probably swerving down the road as he tried to regain control. But why was the driver being so reckless? Was he really being pa panicked? Just panicked? Uh, blood splatters. This must be where Haruka was hit by the car. That's where Haruka Sora was walking when he came, the car came. Makes sense. She tried to get out of the way once she's noticed, but there was no escape. She could do was wrap herself around the child and... Damn. Or sometimes the text goes way too fast. Look around you though, there are skid marks all over, the, all over the road. After he hit the driver, he tried to stop, but then the second he second guessed it. He must have been in quite of a hurry. He didn't even stop to check if the young woman he'd hit was alive. God damn. So, what are you getting at? Let's think about this. Assuming the driver was after Aruka to get revenge on you, would he need to check whether or not she was still alive afterwards? But in this case, the culprit didn't do that. There can only be one reason. Your history as a Yakuza had nothing to do with and why she was hit. 
It was just an unfortunate accident. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You should put your mind at ease. But the punk driver, he's still out there, isn't he? It's really easy for me and Kami Tech to escape from a law these days. The police are making a concerned effort to find him. It's sure to say escaped. By, by the way, perhaps you haven't noticed, but you're being watched. Hmm? That guy in the hat, how long has he been there? I only just spotted him, but he's certainly trying to record you. If he's keeping tabs on me, or is he here to see the crime scene? Well, you... What? What are you? Just want to have a chat. If he's interested in me, I should give him a personal intro. Alright. Hello, sir. Yeah. I'm there now, everything's going smoothly. Hey, huh? Are you up here to here? Shit! Where the fuck you think you're going? Come back here! Stop! In the name of Yakuza Law! Come on, not, this is not the time. God damn it. I got him! Stop. Just stop. Where the hell are you? And why were you spying on me? Uh, I wasn't spying on you, I swear. I was protecting you. Okay. Fort Chairman. Wait, you're a Tojo clan? Yes, I'm from Samoya family. One of the Tojo clan subsidiaries. Samoya? Please forgive me, Fort Chairman. My boss ordered me to. You want me to stay in your shadows to make sure you stay safe. But I just got to Kamurocho today and no one from Tojo Clan knew I was coming. This doesn't make any sense. How did they know I'd be here? I'm not really sure myself. I was just following orders, sir. He said I, uh, if I waited by the alley, you would show up. What? He, was, he also told me someone very important to you was in an accident. My boss seems to know a lot about you. So he does. And where exactly is this boss of yours now? Where can I meet with the patriarch of your Samoya family? I have contra contacts with who can tell me if, if you don't. But I'd rather save us both some time here. If you insist, my boss. He's at Tojo headquarters. He said he had a meeting with acting chairman Sunge. Tojo headquarters. Damn it, I never want to set foot in there again. Hmm, is something wrong? I've just spent three years in prison to wash off the stench of the Tojo clan. I've only been out for a few days and I'm already getting pulled back in. God damn. Do everything in your power to get out, but they pull you back in. What does Samoya family picture know about me and how to get into accident? Looks like my answer to our Tojo clan so I should find a taxi. Go to Tojo clan. Alright, I'm going to leave this part of uh, Yakuza 6, the prologue, right here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying I'm enjoying it a lot. This game's pretty fun. There's a lot of reading, though. Uh, I don't know if the main game, when it's going to come out, there's going to be English voices. I'm not familiar with Yakuza, so I really don't know. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. Follow me everywhere at MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post new video every week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. But thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.